we are seeing in front of our eyes a very large move to the upside. Is this the era of the ETFs? Are we about to blast to $29,000 plus? Or actually, is this the excitement of the news that we should be shorting? A brilliant short opportunity for the continuation of this strong downtrend. I'll be giving you my opinions, analysis, and trade setups in this video. I think you're going to thoroughly enjoy it. We're going to keep it real as always, and we're going to go straight into the charts. I'm going to pick up where I left off my last video for you, which I all know <laughs> I was in a short trade. Okay, the reason of that short trade was simple. We had saw a swing failure pattern off of our mini range high. Of course, this is a very lower term time frame trade. You have to remember that. And I had a you know, an emphasis of we got that valid short trade. What's the next thing? We need to know where our target, take profit, and invalidation is. Okay. And I gave you this little bit of a line and this wasn't a random line. This actually coincides with after a swing failure pattern, the first take profit. And this is based off of the new strategy uh, of swing failure pattern 2.0. So the SFP 2.0 strategy. And that actually gave us the take profit one at the bottom of that line. As we hit the take profit one off of that trade from hitting that take profit, that was actually the low of the move. And we did get the full reversal to the upside and, a, and an increase in price. That said, you know, that trade, even though it hit take profit one, getting stopped out, okay, did take a loss on that trade. And, you know, this is something that I just want to you know, really want to emphasize for you. You know, I come in here, I show you winners, I show you losing trades. And that is because I want to keep it real for you. Okay. 100% win rates do not exist in trading. Okay. Any, you know, quote unquote trader, because I don't know if we can call them that, that doesn't talk about losses, doesn't show you losses is a scammer. They have some sort of way of tricking you into thinking that it's possible to get a 100% win rate. I'm keeping it real. I'm keeping it honest. Okay. I will show you the truths of trading always. And that is we're happy to take losses because losses are part of trading. You know, I'm not in here to sell you a dream to show you. No, we're never taking losses. Losses are going to be in the game. Okay. The most important thing is always taking high probability trades. Of course, they can occasionally lose. And the most important factor, good risk management. So when that loss does come after a string of winners, we're not getting wrecked. We're not getting liquidated. No, we're taking a loss. And that is to us a drop in the pond. And we move on to the next trade. And for me, this trade was simple. Getting stopped out of that short means I was invalidated on lower prices. Okay. Please pay close attention to my words. Getting stopped out of a short trade was the invalidation of being short. So once stopped out of that short, what do I do? I'm naturally going to be then expecting higher prices. And that's what I said to my team. The next price I was looking for while at $27,000 was simple. I'm looking for 27,500. Okay. I would like to see the rise in price to test the NPC there to make my next informed trade decision. So what we're looking for next after getting stopped out for a loss on that short is a rise in price to 27,500. Well, pretty simple to say, uh, but you know, I'm going to show you a little bit of a tip here. And that was what we had with the CME gap open as well today. So this CME gap helped, you know, in my opinion, very good. Because when you look at the CME, we got this little bit of a rise to around 27,400. But what we left was this CME gap. OK, so look at this. This is a gap to the upside. So what we want to see, OK, is a drop and a pullback to fill that CME gap. So the CME gap with the gap to the upside, watch for the drop to fill the CME gap. What happens next? Price drops, drops, and there's the fill. This is the fill of the CME gap. So we saw the gap to the upside on the CME. We've now seen the retracement to fill the gap. And we know that we want to see 27,500 tested. We want to see that level hit. So what happens next? We've got to remain patient. Now we've closed the gap for higher prices. And we all know what happens next. If you've been paying attention to the charts, okay, we did then get a boom, straight pump right through 27,500. And that's why I always say trade the reaction. There was no reaction. We went blasting straight through the level. Okay. So we wanted to see higher prices. We filled the CME gap and then, you know, we've blasted up through that, that level. So for me, you know, that is the importance of taking a small loss. Okay. And recognizing that the invalidation equals strength in the market and to expect higher next. Of course, after that, we pumped nearly a thousand dollars to the upside. Okay. So that is substantial. Um, so with all that said, I've talked you through what I wanted to talk you here over the past few days. 
yes, I took a loss on that SFB, but I used that loss to, you know, recognize strength was coming and we did see strength after the end of that. So it's like I was saying to my team in Discord, and that is, um, that was, that was here. So yeah, we took a small loss after that short trade. Okay. But overall profit is still made because getting stopped out at 27,000 and price pumping then to 27,900 and being sat in spot and taking no more shorts on the rise. That's the overall portfolio increased in price. So I hope you understand that concept as well. If you don't, you know, we teach all of that in the group, <laughs> but moving on now to more of what we are looking at next. Okay. Because I can, I've got exactly the levels that I'm looking for in terms of my major support and resistances that I really want to, you know, make very clear to you. So there's no confusion. Okay. Before I do that, I want to just remind you all that, of course, I took a loss uh, on that short trade. Didn't then turn into a long and we saw a big move to the upside. So I did take a loss and I didn't take the long. You know, that was bad trading on my behalf. And I'm happy to hold my hand up when I do that mistake. But what you have to remember is chart champions is more than just me. And we have the best coaches available for you. So while I missed that long, you got Severin in, Severin in here, uh, who is a coach at chart champions, coach Severin calling the long a few days ago. Okay. Back on the 13th. Okay. Three days ago, calling the long on Ethereum, not the best level in the world, but we have an easy and validation. So he's took the long trade. He's calling that three days ago, which actually fast forwards three days taking some profits after a lovely big pump to the upside. Okay, look at ETHUSD. You got that move to the upside as that correlated with the Bitcoin move to the upside. So you've got Severin crushing the alts. You've got Rivalry, as always, crushing the stock market. And I cannot for let you forget the legend Igor that called on live stream the high of the move down to the absolute low of the move, which was the level he was looking for for weeks 26,600 calling the high, calling the exact low, and of course, <laughs> buying at the exact low. Uh, and then even better, taking profits up at the current high. So, I mean, yes, of course, Igor and myself took a loss off of the short, short trade off of the range high. But overall, you can see how taking that small loss, well, even if you're if you're Igor, then you can still make profits on the way up. So, he, you know, I, what I want to emphasize there is the other coaches right now are trading better than me. You know, I'm not this egotistical person that I once was. You know, I'm happy to admit when people are better than me. And and right now, you know, those coaches, Severin Rivalry and Eagle are absolutely crushing it. That's who you want to be paying attention to right now because they are not missing a beat. They are getting it all and shout out to them. They deserve it. They really do. So, you know, as mentioned, now I'm going to be explaining what I'm looking for next. So I can show you, as always, there's never a random pivot. Who knows why we rejected from where we did here? Did we form any sort of major liquidity grab? No. So you might be thinking, what was this resistance? Was it a CC? Was it a 786? No. The reason that we're getting this pullback now is what we called off of the Igor sessions. And look at this. From going over to the Igor sessions, look at this time NPOC off the Igor session. Bam. Absolutely timing the high just below $28,000. So, you know, ego sessions, these NPCs are powerful um, and that's what's causing this current pullback. So on this current pullback, there's a few levels to be aware of. Of course, after that NPOC ego session was hit, you formed a little bit of a lower term time frame symmetrical triangle, which is now breaking to the downsides. OK, so that's something you've got to be aware of. I would be looking at support. One way that I like to look at support on extreme like moves that are quick is pull a Fibonacci down from around the low of where we started to get impulsive to that current high. And you can see that support coming in at around 27,300, 27,400. Combine that with that 27,500 zone. And we got our support down and around here, 27,400 zone. Okay, give and take $100. So I would be waiting for a, you know, a retracement down to here or alternatively, really simply a continued move to the upside. So whether that's a retracement first, but you can see where I've got my alerts, which is just above $28,000 at these series of highs. Do I think that is a major level of resistance? No, the, the, the truth is not. So we're even going to be looking for a few things now. Option one is this lower high, lower high, lower high. This at the end of the day is still a lower high and we get that full blown reversal with a, you know, a series of lower highs put in. Alternatively, we can get this support found off of that 27,400 zone, 
strength to get above 28k and then really we don't have a lot of resistance to bring us up to $29,000 and that's where I think we can move $1,000 very quickly should be we should we be aware of the SFP here well the answer is yes it would be naive not to look at an SFP trade okay but that said the biggest levels if we reclaim 28k for me are there around 29,400 to 30,400 which is the absolute biggest level for me right now so you know, what does this mean? It means it requires a bit of patience, right? So just as I had patience to look and wait for the reaction off of 27,500, which was blasted straight through, no reaction, no short trade, look for higher. Well, I can now be waiting for the pullback to test support. If we get a nice support opportunity, well, I can look to take that long for the full-blown reversal. If we get no reaction and straight through, well, then simply, <laughs> you know, there's no long trade to be had. So that is the way I love to trade. It's take high probability trade setups. Again, sometimes they will win. Look at this. This was Eagle calling an absolute perfect short trade in advance on live stream. The rise to the absolute high and then giving the target 26,600 the absolute low. Sometimes trades win. Other times trades lose. But what you do know is losses here. Here you go. A loss 1.6%. You know, previous trade is a win of five percent. So you know this 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 winner the winners are much bigger than the losses. So even with if we were looking at fifty percent win rates, which we're you know we're getting better than, but even with a fifty percent win rate, if your losses are one percent and your winners are five percent, well you can see with a fifty percent win rate you're still walking away with hard cold profits. So that's the main thing that we're looking at, right? Profits, high probabilities. Um, I know I want to emphasize once again, keeping it real. I'm not here to, you know, pretend that, you know, or sell you this kind of dream that it's easy money. You're never going to take losses. Now, if someone's selling you that, I'm telling you, they are a scammer. Stay clear of those types of traders that seem like they're calling everything that they're never taking losses. I would even bet that they're not even taking trades. So <laughs> yeah, just be careful of that type of analysis. You know, you want to be following traders that are actually taking trades, are trading and, you know, are happy to show losses when they occur. You know, that's part of trading. And, uh, you know, that's what I aim to get you to a level where you are taking some winners, you are taking some losses, but you've got good risk management, you've got good plans and you are building a PL curve, which is up and up and up week on week, month on month. You know, if you want to see people getting results like that and check out the champions this is the type of pnl curve this is the weekend pnl curve <laughs> that you want to be looking at okay so if you want to learn from myself and the other coaches who i remind you are on fire right now trading better than myself <laughs> if you want to see that then you can get it all via chartchampions.com that's where we got daily live streams that's where we got live trading streams so you got the catalog and the whole course of educational content so everything that you need right now is available for you via chartchampions.com. My next trade, okay, is going to be based off the reaction. I will give that confirmation of the trade in the Discord when we get that level here, which will be a retracement to 27,400 or a move up to around 29,200 of that weekly. So for now, remaining patient. Hope you've enjoyed. I'm going to say if you have, you know what to do. Hit that like button leave a comment down below i read every single one and final reminder that i am making some new content recently and that is primarily content over on the uh, other socials that i have so tiktok uh, i'm going to release a new video today on tiktok which i think is going to be uh, most common mistakes i see newer traders make uh, so if you want to see that i'll post that on tiktok and uh, yeah that's that's my final announcement i hope you've all thoroughly enjoyed if you want the best trading exchange deals you know where to get them over on the deals page and i'm just going to say there thank you ever so much cheers and yeah i'm not good at ending videos that still hasn't changed i love you all thank you and goodbye <laughs>